Hi and welcome to Foxy's Den. Just a short one today, just to show you that uh, I've actually managed to fit the power strip underneath the uh, shelf there at the front, or at the back of my uh, workbench, I should say. And if I look, if we look a little bit further down the bench here, and say so we can show you the uh, the other power strip which has been fitted underneath the bench itself. As you can see, you can never have uh, too many sockets. There we go. And I thought we'd just have a little quick look on the bench, see what we have here. Yeah, that's to help with my memory, which is terrible. Right, here is um, a nice um, ITT radio, which um, actually is one of the first um, FM radios I ever bought, actually. And uh, it's put, it's actually the reason, one of the reasons why I never actually bought um, a Roberts or a Hacker radio at the time was because uh, there was just a little feature on this, which was I was, um, which I was quite interested in, which is this uh, little button here, which is marked AMP. Basically, this just disconnects the um, tuner section and allows you to use the or use the audio stages um, from 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 the socket on the. Uh, from here this didn't socket here and um, basically I had this for when when I was actually still at school and I used to have this um, connected to my little uh, Philips cassette recorder which uh, had a rather small speaker in it even though it was still quite good quality but I just found it better to be able to play back uh, my radio recordings and any other recordings that I made to play them back through the um, through the radio and use the audio stages on the radio which um, made it sound a lot better and a lot clearer uh, and it saved the batteries on my uh, on my cassette recorder well there we go thanks for watching more to come later bye daisies